It's the Go Mike Podcast, where the mic is golden. This is a podcast. I'm your host, Mark Paul. And today, we got Tory Lane's father again. All right. Now, everybody know what's going on with Tory Lane's. He was convicted of all three charges, and he is now awaiting sentencing. And everybody had seen the video of his father outside of the courtroom making a whole spectacle of himself but that's not what we're talking about we're gonna talk about this new video of Tory Lane's father sitting in his office and he says some very interesting stuff so let's pull up the video boom there it is. Now let's go. The strategy was basically to paint a smear campaign against a young man, an artist, to try to make him feel or try to make the public believe that he is the worst person that's ever walked on the planet. Now, hold up, dude. Now, you're going to sit up here and say that they are trying to paint your son in a way that is not who he is, a monster? This little short dude getting to it with a lot of people and he seemed to have a short temper. So you being his father... Can you honestly say that your son is an angel? Can you honestly say that your son is 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 right in this situation? Because we already know what's going on. We know that your son made a dumb mistake. That's what he did. He made a dumb mistake and. Through that dumb mistake, he has to suffer the consequences. It's a part of being a man in which you being his father, you're supposed to be coaching him on how to be a man. Being a man is showing accountability. He fucked up. He was too drunk. You heard the, 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 the jail phone call. He fucked up. He said it himself. You were in the courtroom, Mr. Big Tory Lanes. Tory Lanes' father, you was in the courtroom. You heard him. He was too drunk. So you can't take that in, the, in, in consideration that your son may have done something stupid because he was so drunk. He said it himself. But let's go ahead and continue. How could he be so terrible? to shoot a black woman and all of that. Could you answer that for us? How could he be so terrible to shoot a black woman? And why does it has to be a black woman? Why does, why can't it just be a woman? Why could, can't it just be that he shot a woman? But y'all keep pushing this, oh, black women, oh, believe in black women. I didn't know believing or not believing black women was a thing. And it's sad that that's a thing. Was it to believe or not to believe black women is a thing in our community? That is sad. But let's go ahead and continue. Some of the people who piled on, some of them, when they say a black woman, they sound so insincere. Because they never cared about black women before that, but all of a sudden this became a good narrative. It boosted. So wait, 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 wait. So since people haven't cared about black women in the past, you are saying that we are supposed to ignore that your son shot a black woman in the foot? Are you saying that, Mr. Hairline? Or is that what you're saying? This guy is an idiot, and we see why his son is in this predicament right now. His son shows no accountability in this situation. 
Nobody on his side is showing no accountability for Tory Lanez in this situation. Everybody is pointing the finger, blaming everything, spinning this narrative uh, on everybody except for him. And it's strange how people are really doing this as if you are going to manipulate other people into believing y'all's narrative and that is why i made that video about malago grams and i'm gonna go ahead and link it right up here right now so go check that out she is one of the top tory lane's cheerleaders that has not shown any type of accountability for Tory Lanez, but blame everybody, even the alley cat in the in the in the alley where in on the street where the shit happened. They blame it everybody except for Tory Lanez. Why is everybody blaming everybody except for Tory Lanez? They are pointing the finger at all types of crazy narratives. The stuff that we have been hearing that I have been hearing about this case is like, why, how did you just sit and just think that type of a just crazy scenario out of nothing? It's like, what are you guys thinking? But let's get back into the video. I don't want to rant too much. Uh, uh, views, it gave more likes. It sounded really, really wonderful. And, you know, for them to be on the side of this defenseless black woman defenseless black woman you hear how he say that for him to be on the side of this defensive black woman like what was she supposed to do like obviously like she said i know you guys don't like to believe her because uh she lied about fucking him like she said she was walking away she had her back turned he could have shot her in the back like, so how defensive are you if you are walking away from a situation and then somebody is firing at you? Like, look at how he said that. Like, listen to this fool. Let me let me rewind it back just a little bit. Listen to this fool. And he always want to bring God in the situation. It's people like him is the reason why folks don't go to church. We can't trust it. But let's go ahead and continue. And an artist to try to make him feel or try to make the public believe that he is the worst person that's ever walked on the planet. How could he be so terrible to shoot a black woman and all of that? How could he? But I think I went back too far. Some of the people who piled on, some of them, when they say a black woman, they sound so insincere because just like you, insincere, disingenuous, blind to what your son did. Have you ever disciplined him? There's parents out there that will be on a child's side no matter what. And that is detrimental to that child's growth into being an adult but let's go they never cared about black women before that but all of a sudden this became a good narrative it boosted uh, uh, views it gave more likes it sounded really really wonderful and you know for them to be on the side of this defenseless black woman you hear him sound like he doesn't like the fact that people are not just you know on your son's side you know they're not gonna just just because he's this artist that everybody likes his music they're not gonna be on his side he fucked up he made a bad decision he has to live with it you have to live with it it's not doing him any good that you are sitting here in denial about what he did. But let's continue. Stop right here and say this, and this might come as a shock to many of you. But guess what? Both my son, 
myself and others of our family have long decided that we are not going to hold any animosity against Megan Pete, aka Meg the Stout, Megan, Megan the. So wait, so 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 it is up. Like wait wait hold hold on hold on. So you are putting in out in this world that your family is not gonna hold any animosity against Megan. Like what type of animosity? Or do you guys have what type of valid animosity do you guys have? Are you just mad because she's cooperating with the authorities? Because remember, she is not the one that pressed charges on him. Let's not forget that she never pressed charges on him. She is a witness in his case. Are y'all mad about her going on Gail King saying she didn't fuck him? Like, it would have made it a difference if she would have went on Gail King and said, Yeah, I fucked the little motherfucker. So what? Would it have made a difference if she would have said that? But no, it's bad enough that she is slutting around all throughout the industry. And I bet you that it was so embarrassing for her to answer that question that she felt ashamed of herself. That she's been passed around the industry. The whole industry has been hitting. I seen memes where they said, uh, 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 well, um, uh, regular people got a chance with Meg because she fucks everybody. Of course she's gonna lie about something like that. She's gonna look, make herself look stupid. But if it like if it if the tables was turned, I would advise her not to lie, but to be truthful about you know whatever it is. You know, don't lie about nothing because you gonna make yourself look stupid in the end. But people are really taking that lie and now saying that because of that lie, her being shot is questionable. Like, what type of a brains do you guys have? But let's continue. We forgave that girl long time ago. Long time. So wait, 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 wait. So wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. So you guys forgave Megan a long time ago. What did y'all forgive Megan for? Did y'all forgive Megan for getting shot in the foot? It, uh, like, w what are you guys forgiving Megan for? Like, why is it that you feel like you need to tell us about what your family is talking about in this case and your son is the predator in this case and Megan is the victim in this case it, it seems like it's more merit in her forgiving y'all versus y'all forgiving her for what your son did like what type of shit is that where is the accountability for Tory Lanes? where is the accountability for Tory Lanes for uh, uh seemingly fucking two friends and then, uh, 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 but what started this situation out, he was in the pool with Kylie Jenner. We don't know what he was trying to do in that pool, but we can assume that he was probably trying to smash the bitch, right? He was trying to fuck with Kylie Jenner as well. He in the pool with Kylie Jenner. He already fucking the two friends. Like, where is the accountability for that? If his father had any type of know-how, he would let him, his son know that if you're going to fuck with two different women, it's best that they both know about it. Like, why do you have to hide it from one side? You know, you're going to find yourself in a whole bunch of mess, which is what happened. So, 
I think it's real stupid that this dude got on Instagram live and made this video talking about he and his family and Tory Lanez have forgiven Megan the Stallion for what? For being shot in the foot? These people can't be this delusional. I'm going to go ahead and end this video like this. Because I think this is just disingenuous at an all-time high. It's like, where is the accountability for Tory Lanez? He did something stupid. Why is his father still trying to act like what happened didn't happen? Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end it like that. It's the Gold Mike Podcast where the mic is gold and this is a podcast. I'm your host, Mark Paul, and I'm out.